Indy Governor Josh Shapiro wants to increase funding for 911 call centers. This comes as the governor's office says that staffing is critically low. Here's CBS News Philadelphia reporter Howard Monroe. The screen is your canvas, and you're basically painting a picture. Kimberly Wilson has been a 911 operator since July 2021, but as she says, she's not just answering emergency calls. She's an artist painting the roadmap for first responders. I have to create a full picture so that everything that they need to know is right there. She and her co-workers at Montgomery County's 911 call center work 12-hour days and field 1,900 calls every day. She was there Thursday as Governor Josh Shapiro renewed his call to increase funding for 911 call centers. Pennsylvanians need to know when they make that call and they ask for that police officer, that mental health professional, EMS, whoever it is, they need to know that that call is going to be answered and the right personnel are going to be dispatched. In the governor's proposed budget, he's calling for an additional $50 million for the call centers. Funding from the state for these centers has been flat since 2016. The bulk of the additional funding would go to increase staffing. There's a staffing crisis which is crippling the majority of 911 centers across the nation. Currently, one in five 911 operator jobs in the state are vacant. This center in Eagleville is understaffed by 28 operators. Now, if this budget is approved, it would not only increase staffing levels for 911 call centers, it will also improve the technology they're using so they know exactly where you are when you call. Officials say 82 percent of 911 calls are made from cell phones, but current technology only gives your approximate location. The additional funding will help improve that technology. So when Wilson is painting her picture, there's no more guesswork. That about where you are is it could be the difference between life and death in certain situations. A budget must be signed by July 1st. Howard Monroe, CBS News, Philadelphia.